Thank you. In gut-wrenching testimony today in the defamation damage trial against conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, jurors heard from parents who faced intense harassment after their child was killed at Sandy Hook. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter at the courthouse in Waterbury. Marissa, it is so hard to listen to some of this testimony. Yes, Eric, it is just heartbreaking. These parents are crying as they are describing the worst thing that ever happened to them and how that pain was compounded by Alex Jones. Jones specifically mentioned parent Robbie Parker on his show multiple times to push the lie that Sandy Hook, Sandy Hook rather, was a hoax. Today, we heard from Robbie Parker's wife about what that did to their family. This picture of Alyssa and Robbie Parker after learning their daughter was dead was seen across the world. I couldn't breathe and I wanted to leave. And so this is the first time I left the firehouse after coming in and um, Robbie's walking me to my car. Their grief immortalized after first grader Emily Parker, 19 of her classmates and six educators were killed in a mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Robbie Parker later gave a statement to the media about Emily. It was very sweet. It's very tender. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones would go on to use that video clip on his show over and over to push the lie Robbie so Parker was an actor Gina. and Sandy Hook didn't happen. Alyssa Parker described the onslaught of harassment that soon came from Jones's followers. A full on assault, just. It was so intense and the words that people were using were so scary and horrific and just the things they were saying about my sweet daughter and this is in the first week prior to her her being laid to rest and things like watch your back we're watching you we're coming after you Alyssa parker said her family's fear affected emily's funeral we were so worried. Like, what if someone came into her funeral? What if people started yelling or protesting and came inside? Like, every little thing we did, I was paranoid, and he was paranoid. Like, we just shut down. We were just zombies. I don't even hardly remember what was said on the day of the funeral. And they stole that from me. And Alyssa Parker said that fear, that anxiety is still with her today, almost 10 years later. She also said that the Parkers moved to Washington State to try to get away from the threats, but they haven't been able to. Robbie Parker was on the stand as court ended today. His testimony is expected to finish tomorrow. In Waterbury, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.